When I walk into the building, I feel like I'm in the presence of the Lord. Whatever welcome people here uh, in 1881 to form a parish is still here. One of the significances of this anniversary is that it does mark the 100th anniversary of the building itself, which has a, a place of priority uh, in the life of the church here in the Diocese of Grand Rapids. In designating a church as a basilica, it's intended to be a place of uh, pilgrimage. It's a, a place where, where people gather, where a wide range of services are offered. In a sense, it's a, a sign of hope for the local community, for the revitalization of this community. Uh, it's a, uh, a sign that the church is alive and that the church is present here. And I think it's a great tribute to the, the members of this parish community to take and see this building as such a treasure that they have been entrusted with to preserve. So I see this really as a, a parish that can be and is a, a very vibrant parish and yet will continue to be and will continue to grow uh, in that vibrancy as well. This, this parish community increasingly has a uh, pivotal role in bringing that faith out as they experience it here. And I think because they experience it here in Eucharist and in prayer in various moments, they're nurtured and they're empowered to go out and welcome people. The whole environment of the building just draws that out of us. Uh, the, the history in, in this building, 130 years, is, is felt. That spirit of welcoming, that spirit of, of, of investment of self is still here, and people uh, experience it. I have been a member of St. Adalbert's for my entire life. My grandparents were some of the first people who started this parish. My father was baptized in 1916. When he and my mom got married in 1938, this became their parish family. They've had 10 children, and all 10 of us were baptized here. We all went through St. Albert Elementary School, so our roots are deep. The, the ministry of music here at St. Albert actually enriches us as a parish, as a community. I think that's a whole part of this community we call St. Albert is the strength that's found in the longevity of the people, in the longevity of pastors. Um, likewise, the music has been such that there's always been good music done here since the beginning. I lose myself in that music that I'm hearing, and it gives me a sense of something that is way above just those printed words that are being sung. So I think that, of course, makes the, the church community better. This parish is, it's a lot of different things. It's a place of, of peace and comfort. It's a place of celebration, of course. I mean, you know, the, the sacraments and, and, you know, it's births and it's baptisms and it's weddings and it's that place of celebrating. And for me personally, it's a place where I need to come every Sunday just because this is where I need to be fed through the Eucharist, I'm fed through the Word of God, I'm fed through the people that I worship with. People want to be part of this place. 
not only for the beauty of the structure, but also for the sacrifice that went into building the structure and for the feeling of community and family that you get when you come and celebrate the liturgy. I was doing my undergraduate work at Grand Valley and I, I moved to Grand Rapids from Allendale and I moved into some apartments down the road and so when I first got here I was looking for a new church and uh, the Basilica was the first place that I tried uh, and right when I walked in I, I knew that I had found a new home. After uh, Mass one day I said Let, let's go downstairs and see what it's like and we came down here and at that point I feel like we are even more welcome. People were approaching us and asking what our names were and where we're from and how long we had been attending the parish and I think that just opened the door for us to be a bigger part of the community. I did RCIA through the parish and I was confirmed in this parish and we are married here at the Basilica and we hope to have our child baptized here at the Basilica and it's all because it's, it's home. It, it really feels like where we belong. The spirit of any parish must rest on the gospel as it is experienced particularly in Eucharist and in service of his community. If it maintains that spirit, if it can continue to nurture that spirit and strengthen it, no matter what comes down the road, that parish is going to have a future that is vibrant and vital and exciting. This is my home, this is, this is who I am. These people are the people that I wanna walk my faith journey with and that I will walk my faith journey with until the day I die. Look to God.